So when it comes to external storage such as USB drive, there's loads of great deals to be had out there on the internet. But are they great deals? A lot of people have found recently when they've been buying drives, USB drives off of the likes of Amazon, eBay, etc. They've found that sometimes those drives just aren't all they were cracked up to be. Sometimes they're not actually the storage capacity that they say they are. When you first plug them in, everything looks fine. Generally, it reports the right capacity. But after a while of filling the drive up, you soon realize that either it runs out of space very quickly or worse still, actually looks like it's putting files on there. But when you go to open those files, once it gets to a certain limit, those files contain zero bytes. They contain nothing. They're empty files. So it might look as though you're putting loads of files on the drive. You might think, hey, this drive is absolutely fine. But once you've reached that limit, some of these drives, like I say, they, they, they're advertising as being one or two terabyte drives. But in actual fact, their capacity is perhaps limited to only 32 gigabytes or 64 gigabytes. So how do you know that the drive that you've bought is actually the capacity it says when you plug it in? Well, this guide is going to show you how you can check that out. All the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So today I'm going to show you an app which is going to show you how you can check the capacity of the drive. So what you need to do is open your browser, go up to the address bar at the top of the screen, not the search bar in the middle there, the address bar right at the top. If there's something in there, delete it out and then just type grc.com. Once you've typed that in, press enter or return on your keyboard. If you've typed in the correct web address, you should see this website here. Go up to freeware up the top and then down to utilities. Move your mouse across to Valley Drive and left click once. Then scroll down. It tells you a little bit about Valley Drive here and about the reason why that they uh, developed the tool. Basically, they purchased 12 inexpensive one and two terabyte thumb drives from Amazon and found that every one of them was a bogus fraudulent drive. It wasn't giving you the capacity that it said it was supposed to. So this tool actually does check to make sure that it is the correct capacity. So let's scroll down. As I say, it tells you a bit more about this. Have a look through. But what we want to do is just want to download it. So go to the download there, left click once, and then you should see it's a very small program. So you should see Valley Drive just up there. Click on open file, click on yes when it says, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? And this comes up. So click on check USB drive, but you can look through the documentation here, which again, just goes over why this was created. So uh, click check USB drive. And it's saying here to introduce the drive you wish to validate. So the drive that you've just bought, insert it into a USB socket on your computer right now. Once you've inserted it, there you go. It detects it and it's obtaining the device information. So this is what the drive is declaring. It's declaring it's a four gigabyte drive, which is correct. So if you want to validate that it is actually a four gigabyte drive and not less, I mean, obviously your drives will probably be bigger. I'm just showing you this on a smaller drive because it's simply the only one I've got spare. So if there is information on the drive, then it's probably a good idea to back it up if it's important. The programmer of this particular app has said that they've not lost any data through testing, but obviously it is a good idea to back it up just in case there are any problems. So once you've done that, move your mouse over, validate this drive, left click once, and it's going through, it's calibrating now. And hopefully what you should see are green dots. If you start seeing red dots, then that could indicate that the drive is in actual fact a fake drive. A red dot means that on the drive there is no storage in that area that it's reporting there should be storage. If you get a 
yellow dot, then that means right error. That means that the drive is faulty. Also, if you get a blue dot come up again, that means read error. Again, that means the drive is faulty. So hopefully by the time this has finished, we should have a screen full of green dots. If there are any dots that are red, then that means, yep, there's that's pretty much saying that the drive is a fraudulent drive. It's not reporting or it's not got the capacity that it's actually reporting. So send it back. If you've got any red, uh, sorry, if you've got any yellow or blue dots come up on the screen, again, that means there's something wrong with the drive. So send it back. So just, just going through the website here, you will actually see if I just, uh, move that out of the way. This drive here in this example, this is a drive which has only got a tiny fraction of the storage that it reports it's got. All those green dots mean this is the usable space on that drive. The red dots there means there's absolutely no way you can store data on that. But the drive when you plug it in is claiming it's got this much storage, all of this here, but in actual fact, you can only store files on that tiny bit of drive. So that is a, an indication that it's a fake drive. What you really want is by the time it's finished checking the drive and be warned, it can take a while, is you want all green dots. If you've got all green dots, just like this here, then your drive is perfectly okay and perfectly safe to use. You're not likely to lose any information on it. Although obviously drives can still be prone to failure, but at the moment it's all checked out. It's validated that every part of the drive is actually usable, that it's reporting in capacity and there's no read errors and there was no write errors when checking the drive out. So that, that is an indication of a good drive. Now let's just go back to my drive here. As you can see, there's a lot of green dots on there. So things are looking promising because the green dots are splayed out all over the place. Uh, but this is obviously going to take some time to check the whole drive. So I'm not going to bore you and leave you watching this. So what I would say is if you've got a new drive and you want to double check that it is the capacity it says it is, then please download Valley Drive, run it through, keep a copy of Valley Drive just in case you buy new drives in the future and check those out too. Well, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, if it helped you out, then consider hitting that thanks button and donating to this channel. If you can't do that and you are looking for a new VPN or Fire Stick or Fire Stick accessories, then have a look in the description down below. If you're thinking of subscribing or buying a Fire Stick or a VPN, then please consider using the links down below because once again, it really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time into researching and bringing you these videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos right here, right now for you to have a look through. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're gonna find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money.